Hi Steve, here's your 6MCR mate. So um, we've got the rotating grapple saw on it. Uh, so this is the WD9 rotator with the uh, TG22 and the saw. So they come up a treat. Uh, into Mercatolo put the uh, hydraulic brake in there. That's on um, on John's and um, Dan's machine as well. Um, then you've got the diverter valve around here. Hoses come up into here so we've got your main auxiliary second auxiliary and this is the electrical connector for the diverter valve so that switches between the saw and the grab uh, i've got a video of it operating which i'll add on to the end of this for you and around this side uh main second and then there's a case drain so that's uh, diverted off the um off the saw uh the rest of the machine so um you've got the emergency stop here battery isolator uh, that's the control valve track tension uh, just as um, on Dan's machine really important to get the track tension right so make sure you follow this um, and we've got plenty of videos um, on the YouTube for how to adjust the track tension so it's really important to use that gauge tracks will bed in take about 100 hours so the first few days uh, they'll stretch in so make sure you keep an eye on the track tension no DPF um, fuel filters are there engine oil filter dipstick oil fill point overflow bottle diesel tank that's the alternator there additional counterweight on the back and i'll come around into the cab so you got your emergency stop on the inside here you got your service record so this is the um servicing uh, record that we have that you can fill out and that's always on the machine we've got your uh, quick information there the diag don't worry about that that's really there for us um, cup holder fire extinguisher risk assessments in it and I've emailed you a PDF copy of it your UHF here all the controls on it so here we now have so if I turn this on hopefully you can hear me over it I'll speak up so this is now our horn button and we're now using this button under here as our diverter switch. So if I'm running, this is my, I'm using this slider here. And Dan, if you're watching this, it's exactly the same controls for your machine, mate. So in and out, does the grab. Over this side does the rotator. Oh, that's offset. So this button, so this, this slide switch does your offset boom, left and right. And then you press the button once, and then it does the rotation. So that's your rotation, come all the way around. Now remembering that this joystick does your grab, when you grab something and now you're ready to saw, hold this button in here with your pinky. So I'm gonna hold that in and then I can use the saw with the same slide switch. So when I let go, I use this for the grab, hold the button in, saw. So basically, you know, I rotate around, I go down, I pick my log up, whatever I'm cutting, close the grab, and then hold down the button, activate the saw. It's as easy as that. So again, just like um, John's, I'll set up the, um, the flow in the screen for you, so it'll be named saw, um, and then that's what you always run this on. So um, nice, uh, nice package, mate. Um, nice and light on the end, the attachment and uh, looks a treat, mate. So this will be off on the truck uh, tomorrow for you. All right, mate, any questions, just let me know.